I can't think of anything in this life that is more important than to be God's instrument in the forming of a human soul. Your child is a worshiper. Worship is your child's identity before it's ever their activity. That means that something will always lay claim to the rulership of that child's heart. Parents, often you think you're dealing with behavior when you're actually dealing with worship. Your child doesn't just need behavior management, they need worship realignment if they're ever going to be willing to submit and obey. The development of character is seldom an event, it's almost always a process. Now this gets at one of our weaknesses because I want to go in the room, I want to have a conversation with my child, I want him to say, you're right daddy, you've always been right, you're the rightest person I know. Doesn't happen that way. Because you don't want to go after it again and again and again, but God does from the earliest moment when you're dealing with that two-year-old, that seven-year-old, that 12-year-old, you can't just think this moment. How do I get my child to do what I want him to do in this moment? You have to think legacy. What will my relationship with this child be like then?